Hey everyone, this is just going to be a short video. Do you ever wonder what a completely brainwashed, completely mind destroyed, indoctrinated, <clears throat> complete fool with no logic, no critical thinking, no ability to use reason sounds like? Do you see what's on the screen? Isn't that interesting? That's a comment on my video about blindness and Jesus healing a, a blind man, one blind man, and there's millions of people that are born blind into this world. So who created blindness was my question. And this is their response. Did they really address the question? No, of course not. You know, as, I, as I've said before, I'm cool with some Christians on my uh, channel, but there's a lot like this out there. If you're honest, you see it too, I'm sure. You know, I, I'm, I know I'm highlighting it by putting it right on the screen and leaving it there, but this kind of stuff is all over the internet, all over YouTube. There's a lot like this in this world that you show them and you prove something to them. I mean... <laughs> Look at the logic. God created man in the flesh as evil incarnate. Well, then God created evil, and God admits to it in your Bible. So what are you arguing with me for? I didn't twist anything. Fact. God is good. It's not a fact because you call it a fact. So me, me, <laughs> me talking about blindness in God, I'm the opposition, the ammunition. So you're saying I'm the enemy, you know? Don't you just love the way Christians do that to total strangers? They're so quick to call someone their enemy or the enemy or working for the evil one or the enemy, meaning Satan. Is that what you think? Is that what you assume? Brilliant. Been drinking a lot of tap water, guzzling down that fluoride, eating your toothpaste. He gave the world Jesus to save our souls from eternal damnation. Why was that necessary? He fucked up, so he had to send his son down here to fix shit. He made an imperfect world of evil to begin with. Why would he have to send? And why would why would he have to send his son to die to save our souls? He's a magical god. He's omnipotent. Why didn't he just snap his fingers, or you know, do an I, I dream of genie move, and uh, everything's fixed? All his mistakes are fixed. God's mistakes, in other words. Because if he has to send Jesus here, you're admitting that he fucked up. He had to send Jesus down here to save our souls, knowing that his son was going to be tortured and killed. Really? Does that make sense? Repentance is crucial. For what? For telling the truth about blindness that you can't handle? Why should I repent for that? I'm telling the truth. You're defending evil. I'm on the side of good. You're on the side of evil and suffering, and blindness, which never should have been a thing. It should have never been created. It shouldn't exist. This whole realm shouldn't exist. You're defending evil. I'm on the side of good. You're not a moral being. That's why you can't see that. You have a lot of spiritual work to do. I don't just mean a minute or hours. You need years, years and years of devoted spiritual work and examining your beliefs and examining your own evil that you've been preaching. Not just here. I, I believe that you've been doing this a lot if you've come to my page and posted this. I wouldn't be surprised if this is what you do, olive oil. Salvation is a blessing. Why, why would anyone need salvation? We're put into a hell realm by an evil God, your God. So yeah, if that ain't good, then nothing is. Really, it's then nothing is. Please learn grammar and spelling. Christians, this isn't the only one. We've done this before, okay? I had to do this with someone else with run-on sentences and terrible grammar. Please. 
please educate yourself. You're not at the level of the people that you're trying to argue against. You're not even close. I don't just mean me. I'm not just putting myself on a pedestal and saying, hey, I'm way smarter and you know, you're not on my level. You're not even close to most people that I have conversations with, the vast majority of them. You're not close. You have work to do before you even attempt that stupidity. Pause the next time. Don't just type. Don't just get upset and emotional and fire off these stupid fucking comments. Think first. Think, Christian. Think, if you can. And your name is ironic. Olive oil. Do you know what Christ comes from? Where it's derived from? That word? Christos. The anointing oil. So it is ironic that your stupid fucking name, Olive Oil, I doubt you have any idea what you're worshiping and where they got the name from. In other words, you don't get it. You don't freaking get it. You don't understand. You read the Bible literally like a, like a three-year-old. Well, sorry, I'm sh I bet you couldn't read a word at three years old. Seriously, if, the, if you're this way as an adult, how long did it take you to read a children's book? Were you five? Seven? Were you 10? Were you 15? Seriously, Christian. Learn something. You're trying to debate with people, and I can't even describe what level you're at. You're in the sewer, basically. You're down in the sewer. And you're yelling up at, at people that are intelligent. That use logic and reason. That use things that you don't even... <laughs> you don't even approach using. You don't even understand. I don't think you understand what those words are. I don't even think you understand the words that you're using. God created man and the flesh is evil in space carnate. Really. That's one word, by the way. Incarnate. Not two separate words, Christian. Please, not just this olive oil person. Please, Christians, learn how to type, learn how to spell, learn how to use punctuation, learn how to use grammar. Be somewhat, <laughs> uh, be somewhat literate and presentable. When you're, when you're trying to debate someone, because, I mean, you look foolish right off the bat. You look foolish. You really do. <laughs> and your name, olive oil, and Christ and the Christos, the, the anointing oil. I mean, it's just, it's too much. It's, <laughs> it's just fucking comedy. And I didn't set out to be someone that, you know, does this with Christians. And, and, but it's just... <laughs> I don't know what to say. I mean, it just, they, it just keeps coming. The comedy just keeps coming. A chance at our salvation is a blessing. I mean, of course they're going to giggle through that. How can I not help it? Why would we need salvation to begin with if, if it weren't for an evil God creating a realm like this and creating humanity this way and creating evil and putting us here to begin with? I mean, <laughs> you, just, you people just never seem to go right back to the source. If the source of everything that you believe is created is God, then he did all of this. He set this up. All right? It's pretty simple. It's pretty simple. And unfortunately, you're too simple to even get that much, really. And it's not just a put down. I, I don't like calling people simple. I don't even like calling, you know, fucking idiots dumb and stuff. But please try harder. Please. <laughs> please. You just <laughs> oh.